All right. Welcome to the fourth and final game of the evening. Up this time is TV's The Awakening. And that title is quite literal. Uh, anyway, TV's is a single player platformer game combining intense action and challenging puzzles. Okay, one of those things is a lie. Uh, intense action? No. Uh, fo- uh, anyway, this focuses on a journey of a TV character called uh, You. Just the letter U. I'm, I'm I not hate sure. that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who, who needs to drive his way on strange events in a strange world to solve mysterious puzzles of his life until he finds the truth. So he's he, a tube named you, you're saying. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is, in a manner of speaking. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a puzzle platformer, and it is a goddamn strange game in certain respects, and uh, honestly, shockingly conventional in others. I suppose to delineate that further, um, in terms of its, like, premise and atmosphere and aesthetics, yeah, this is a fucking weird game. I think that's pretty evident um, just by looking at the fact that you're controlling a TV man who is an actual TV. Mm -hmm. In terms of, like, the actual game, though, yeah, this is actually a lot more conventional than the description would have you believe. Um, In terms of, like, a puzzle platformer, uh, you know, it's like... Like, some of the puzzles, like, one of the puzzles that'll come up uh, a bit of a distance from here is, uh, like, a bunch of rooms, and you have to go through the right passages, Um, and another puzzle beyond that is, like, matching the right, if I remember, like, um, or putting the right objects in the right order, or, uh, like, putting the symbols in the right order. Like, the actual puzzles are things we've seen before mm-hmm. and are readily recognizable. And as far as the platforming goes, well, uh, here's where, I don't know, things might diverge. Because, yeah, um, this game was giving me the Unity uh, shit show. Oh? Like, um, like performance-wise? Yeah. Um, when I moved, there was a lot of motion blur and shit like that, and the game wasn't exactly responsive. But I figured that was a me thing more than a game thing. That said, Petty was saying it has some weird... um... It doesn't want to go to standard 16 by 9 resolutions. I don't know what the hell it's trying to run at, but it sure as hell is not a 16 by 9 standard. It's TVs, so... I mean, yeah, but... Maybe maybe, maybe they really want to be 4x3 or whatever the fuck. Maybe... Um, like, you know, here's another good example of what I'm talking about. Like, the actual puzzle here is... Just sliding a box. Yeah, figured. Onto, you know, the, the actual puzzles are not the most inspired um, creations in the world. At least the ones I saw. Uh, but, like, the actual, you know, the atmosphere and the aesthetic. Oh, that is some fast scooting. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, Jesus, bro. That's faster than your walk speed. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, like you can see, you know, this game, like, it's got a very Cartoon Network horror vibe to it. Mm-hmm. Like, 
on it, like this looks like something out of Purge the Cowardly Dog. In a Slightly lot of more coherent, but yes. No. And, you know, like I said, I respect a lot of what this game is doing in terms of its artistry. Where I have to come down on the game is, yeah, like the actual game parts of the game are not play, all play that experience, e- not amazing. Yeah, uh, like, like they're, they're functional, but honestly, I think I would have enjoyed this game had it gone like pure walking sim or yeah. And also like the like you need to get the box. Oh, yeah, God, I couldn't point. even see that box. Jesus. Yeah. I actually had to look this up. Yeah, that's not great game design, bro. Yeah. Like I said. And yeah, the actual jumping is kind of clunky, though you weren't having the problems I were. Again, I I suspect that was the Unity drag. Yeah. I'm guessing fall damage is not a thing. Not that I saw. On the other hand, you have this really uh, amazing looking set piece. Mm -hmm. So, and here's the one of the puzzles I was talking about. You got to like you got to, and there's not really a context of how to solve this. And like. Ultimately, uh, uh, th- this is where my review comes down. Um, if you're going to buy Trial this and game, error, here we go. Yeah. If you're going to buy this game, buy it for the premise, for the atmosphere, for the for the mystery, like, you know, the floating text there, um, for um, the artistic aspects of, you know, the, the more artisanal aspects of the game. The actual game mechanics are... Mediocre at best. And so it's... This game is definitely, unfortunately, less than the sum of its parts. Because, you know, it's making actual game mechanics a a part of the core here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, they work, but they're not as amazing as the the, uh, text crawls would have me believe. And that's unfortunate because I wanted to like this game a lot more than I did because I like games like this. I like games that are bold and unique and are artsy. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, uh, if you do wish to purchase uh, TVs, it's only going to cost you five bucks, which is... A hell of a lot less than any actual TV is going to cost you. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty fair for the uh, amount of graphic deletes or graphic details. <laughs> graphic deletes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what my head was doing there. I could say. Anyway. Um. And yeah, um, that's about all I will uh, say about this game. Uh, as you know, I'll leave uh, the viewer to find out more about it on their own, should they wish to do that. And indeed, that brings us to the end of our uh, review session. Now, I think we did wrap up before Mac did. Oh, yeah. That might be a first. I think it is. Um, I'll probably go rejoin him out of pity. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so next, uh, the week ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh, coming up on Wednesday, November 2nd, uh, we'll be having Gin of Law Mage Academy. Uh, so this is our going. This is going to be our first guest from the uh, Philippines, if I'm remembering correctly. 
Um, so as it turns out, there's like a like exactly twelve hour difference. Yeah, that's about right. So that worked out. And um, on Friday, November first, we're supposed to have um, the smooth brain dev. This is their handle of the uh, up of the FPS incision, but they haven't actually chimed back to confirm that they'll be here. Um, so that's a bit touch and go. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jin has uh, confirmed, so we do have a guest on Wednesday. Anyway, so yeah, until next week, I shall be wishing you good gaming. <laughs>